mountain biking, there's probably about six to seven organized events in the summer, with this being one of the more popular ones. It's sort of the kickoff to the season. We had 95 racers. We started the first year, there was 20, and then 45, and 75, now 95. And we were trying to make it as, as accessible to everybody as possible. So we chose the courses specifically for that reason. We do sort of push it as an event, not a race. We want people to come out, have fun. It's all about having fun. I mean, we have two bands, we have a beer garden, we have barbecue. Contagious Mountain Bike Club is the mountain bike club for White Horse, so it does all sorts of stuff. It's got recreational activities, so group rides, things where just people who want to learn more about the trails or who are new to mountain biking and are trying to find other people to ride with. You know, the great thing about Contagious is there is something for everyone. Something for the person who is just bought a bike. There's stuff for the people who want to race. It's got events like this, which are the bigger races. We got 24 Hours of Light, we've got the King of the Canyon, and we've got DH races every once in a while. And we've got some clinics, so some stuff for people to learn um, how to bike and to get more familiar with, you know, the techniques and stuff like that. When you come out to an event like this, I think, you know, you, when this first started, there might have been about half as many people here as there is now. And um, every year it just keeps getting better in the city, putting all the work into all the trails. And, that's really helped a ton kind of foster the mountain bike scene. We've got an amazing set of trails out here, trails that people are talking about across North America, trails that are featured in Bike Mag, and they're in our backyard. The uh, former general manager of Arctic Winter Games is the chief organizer of the Run Bike World Cup. The Run Bike course came out of last year because we were sitting around at the finish line and there were so many two and three year olds on run bikes, so we figured we might as well formalize it. Angelina's Toy Boutique, they're donating a run bike as a draw prize for the run bikers. It's a very intense event, they all get ice cream cones. 20 years, this will be in the Olympics. You will see three-year-olds in the Olympics born out of this event.